Hello everybody and welcome back into Spirits of Amazonia Part 3 Ooh. Ah, really? Ah, that's not a good way to start is it? Give me the fruit, I want the fruit Fine, I'll grab the fruit that way Okay, getting back to where we were Yes, Brown House, Spirits of Amazonia Part 3 So today we are going to make the monkey guardians and get them to start guarding the village so back down to the little non-base that I've made A because it's quieter down here and B have I got everything in my bag already? oh I've got everything in my bag already oh it's still quieter down here though so let's just stand back here all right, so let's do one. So this is the claws with the obsidian. Oh, he's fairly cute, I guess. He's not, he's very cute. Then we've got one with the fiber, which is the one with the mane. What's he look like? Oh, he does look really cute, doesn't he? Now in this one, we need to harvest up our Brazil nuts because we need the shells and we need two of them to make the eyes for this one. So, there we go. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, goodness, he looks a bit. Don't they? There they are. Cool looking dudes. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, so let's go and put those into their watchful spots where they can guard the village <gasps> I thought I'd left stuff in the, the chest which is why I went down there but I guess I did I'm falling off again already it's not a good start is it right so we've got one around here which one are you you'll be the eyes I guess no oh the eyes one is the one up really high isn't it Oh, do we just press E? If we do. It's a good place for a guard. Ah, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. We'll get screenshots of all these guys. Just because they're cute. And I got dirty doing that, apparently. Yep, so he's the claws. Can't really see him very well. We'll get him and I'll put a few down here maybe. Just to see what he looks like. No, a bit too far away. No, I can't get that good shot of him. That's a bit sad. And the other one, the eyes is up high to have a look over everything. There we go. Last guard took his post. Excellent. Okay, let's go and talk to the elder. I really like his, uh, his ceremonial staff there. Um, Boboya Gohoyan Mikasa. Josu Jaka, Kidrosu Da, Naitsu Kirin, Ananake Jaka, Usayama Naku, Ananake. Okay. Right, so let's see how much trust have we got now. I'm not going to be able to fit that in my bag, am I? No. All these nuts there, though. Uh, I'm not going to... I hate at the big gaps. It's just ridiculous. Um, oh, at least they can go a bit closer together. I don't like keep having these so close. I need to fix the bag up a bit more. Anyway, let's open this up. Right, so next way. So, oh, we've got to go back to Anaconda Island and finish off with the amulets. So, and they're not crossed off again this time. It's so weird how they're not. So the Fisher Fortune, that's the, oh, that's the one we did down the well type of thing I think that started off that one see the um, 
See, we've done this one and it's not crossed out because the the weapon's there. So it's been very fickle. What do I mean? What are you? Your proteins. And they see proteins would be really handy. Alright. Let's drop some stuff out. See if we can't make this bag a little bit better. Um Okay. So let's put these up here. Actually let's put that there. Those there. This is looking a little bit better already. Right, meat always goes in the corner. Um, shoot there for now. You down here. I still don't think I'm going to be able to fit that parcel in. Not with the terrible ways there. Oh, look at that. That's, that's ridiculously silly. Um... Bugger. Really? That's the best you can do? Oh. Got to come back anyway. We've got to finish off Sartno's amulet, so we'll be back. So. Alright then. Uh, right, I guess I should. I don't really think I need to take a pot, to be honest. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to really be gone that long, hopefully. I just need to go back down here and grab some stuff from my chest. Then we need to go back up and we can use that climbing spot up there to get back to the air food quicker. Hopefully. Oh, do you think we're going to get a cat free day? I think I'll be able to get a cat free day going back there. Um, right, let's take this time to redo this part of the bag. I uh, don't need to bring all those dried leaves. I probably don't need any dried leaves. I do think I need a couple of replacement arrows though. Terrible buzzing, is there a... Uh, what else, what else, what else? Honestly, I think we can go fairly light. Yeah, uh, how many of them? Yeah, I've got. Uh, let's just harvest that one up. And we'll make two more regular arrows. Probably could have just found them on the floor, but whatever. Uh, okay. That should take us up to ten regular arrows and then the one tribal arrow. Because at some point I'm going to lose that tribal arrow, I'm sure. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure right. Let's go. So back up. Right up to the top. Grapple. Hopefully because I'm coming from the side I'm coming from, I'll actually be able to see the cat quicker. The Anaconda Island cat. Over, over, there you go. Because we'll be coming from that end where the cat should be. So I hope I'm I'm going a little bit. I'm not really taking any notice of my surroundings, am I? Oh. Where are you? There you go. Although this is a very, very, very long rope to climb. That didn't really strike me as the uh, massively outdoors. You know, oh, obviously outdoors because he's a mozzie, a botanist. A botanist who has a note notebook full of plants that have got unknown on them. But anyway, oh, I should have washed. Let's be on the lookout. There's a bolo out for the cat. Mm. 
trying to decide which is the best way to go along here and across again with the cats with any of the predators that with the cats and the caimans particularly not specifically the snakes and that because they seem to have their set spawn spots do the cats and the caimans only spawn in once you oh but that cat came from that side last time didn't he do they only spawn in once you get into their area on a certain bones are still there uh, like for instance two days it will spawn in every two days in the area I mean I've been gone longer than that oh I don't know Actually, let's just go back into the let's just go back up here I might just save here actually just in case something bad goes on and we've still got meat here too if we need it as well oh that sound all right this is me. i got used to these last few days with not having to worry about the cat not having to worry about the cats so when I get to a safer spot I will also show you what my bow skill level is at because I'm not sure if it's at a hundred percent oh mound oh food ration I can't take Let's do the... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I hate it when those things come like that. I'm not sure what my... Oh, I thought I'd gone a bit... I thought I'd got far enough around. I'm not sure... Oh, I came out perfectly. I'm not sure what my bow skills are at. So once we get to the actual grapple point, which is a safe spot... I'll um, have a look and see what that is. Some people have asked me. So we'll have a look at that. Now once you've come up, once you've been up here for a while, you kind of get to know the landmarks. This is the rock that you need to turn past find the walkway she says as she doesn't get there I thought it was that big rock but I missed it a tiny bit yeah and where is it where have I gone too far I thought it was here I mean because this looks like doesn't really look like a path at all does it This way. Ah, I was close, but not close enough. Yeah, see, there's a rock. I just forget, yeah, obviously, gathered. I used the wrong rock as my landmark. Yeah, but after a while of being here, you do get used to the landmarks. I haven't been here for a while, that's my excuse. I'm going to stick to it. All right, let's have a quick look at the notebook for the, uh, this one. Yep. This one. Uh, access. I'm actually surprised my blades are still there. Archery, 81. Still not 100% yet, though. But, yeah. Uh, pot oh, okay. Spe I haven't done any spear fishing at all. Uh, haven't done any fishing, period, actually. Throwing, I think I've done a couple to get some coconuts I don't think that counts two-handed weapons yeah I mean they're good but 
and fist you. I mean, why? Oh, now we've got another cat spot. All right, so we've got to go around to let's get the map out. Anaconda Island. So we've come here, and we need to go around to here. So there's one here, and the other one is actually relatively close as well, I think. I know it when I see it. Uh, this tr this clump of trees. So we're going to this one and this one. Uh, so this is the one that is... Oh, I'm just an idiot. This one here is this one near this. It's actually in the same raised area, I think, that the legend is. Oh, let's go. See what we can find. I mean, my plan is to get both of them done and at least get back to the airfield. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the cat free days. Really. Don't know how we'll go. So I'll also be in the Cayman area too. So I'll have need to watch out for him coming out of the water. Remember last time what happened? He got me. He did injure me, yeah. Oh, that's when I got the infection too. So, I'm sticking to the wall. I mean, it worked. That's the one we missed in case, again, I'll just give those coordinates. 3328. I'm very thirsty. But now, I have a bit extra water. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Where is he? Damn it, should have kept moving, shouldn't I? I'm in a really bad spot because I can't see crap. And I don't want to... I'll back myself up. There he is. Just, you just, you stay beautiful. Yes, look how he's beautifully lit up by the light there. Ah. My pumas, they so can't see them. They've got the perfect camouflage, really. You think the jaguars would be, have better camouflage because, you know, they're spotty and it breaks up their form? But, nah, I... Absolutely hopeless at seeing the pumas. If I hadn't stopped there, I might have got away with it. Probably not, though. I know he's gone now. That's the main thing. Alright, so he's gone as well. Oh, I missed that completely. So yes, I still have a little bit of a uh, little bit to go with my bow skills, but say if you're, I'm sure most of you know though, but when you press your mouse button, I'm um, sorry, I'm on mouse and keyboard, so I'm not sure what it is on um, on a controller, but uh, mouse and keyboard, when you're pressing your mouse button to aim, if you pressed your left shift button it will steady your aim for a little bit so we're at we're at this we're at this spot here now so it's getting a bit dark i really wanted to get this done today maybe i should have come and done these first and done the guardians the monkey guardians at the end when it wouldn't have mattered if it was dark or not that would have been a better plan. 
definitely a better plan. Still, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go for it. Get both of them done. Oh Jesus Christ! Get up! Oh my God! Whoa! I gotta say that scared me a bit. I thought he was closer. Wow. Get up. Oh, Jake, come on, please. Oh, jeez. Oh, you've only got an hour. All right. That, that's good. And we'll actually take... Oh, they ain't give me any. There we go. Get up. There we go. Get up you get. Up you get. You can do it. You can. Oh my god. You can. You've done it before. Oh jeez. He's going on with you. There we go. Well that took way too long. Right, so it's down here. And then you need to go. Across this one. There you are. Oh, fine. Then you need to go up this one here. And there it is. Very pretty. Then, now that Cayman and the Puma are gone, and we've got... <sighs> Couldn't just leave me for a minute. Of course, the Puma at uh, the airfield is still hanging around. But... Can at least get this done. Where's this? Right. So the cam is there, so we can go up to the water's edge and scan for the um those dead trees we're after. There they are, over there. Pretty sure it's them. Although, uh, no, no, let's not go that way. I think we can go around on the this coast bit a little bit more. And not have to swim. Now I've got another, I think I've told you, I've got another game going. Uh, as Spirits of Amazonia Part 3. It's going to be my build, my build one. these trees get rid of them just so they're gone there it is that was the last one rest in peace poor Santa. Oh, I think we're gonna have to spend the night on anaconda island it's too dark it's too dark in case the um in case the uh, puma 
in case the puma's active up there, which is a bit of a pity. I really wanted to get up there. Have we got any bowls here? Oh, I do. Oh, that's handy. Empty, of course, but still. Not too bad. Uh, okay. Clean so I can... Oh, what shall I have? Some green fruits would have been nice, I've got to admit. There we go. 20, really? That was uh, excessive. I know it's early, but there's not really a lot of point in hanging around. I'll get myself fed and watered and stuff like that. It's rain, so at least I can fill up a little bit of water from here. get away from there things as that is the spot that they, I don't know if it's the one Cayman that's the thing though I can never remember if it's just the one Cayman or there's a couple that are patrolling the area uh, you, you. Nearly. Right, you're full. Take tiny sips from you. I think we'll just, just a little, we do need to wait for a little bit more light. Uh, this will be the last time at Anaconda Island. I think we're done now. We are done. We don't need to come back here again. Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. Say, on my other playthrough, which I'm calling my pacifist one, because uh, I've got everything turned off for, for my building. I need to go. Okay. Yeah, my pacifist one. I've finished so far. I've done. Uh, um, what have I done? Oh, I finished all of the... It's very dark. They're a bit too dark still. I finished all of the... Uh, the Habu Habaku... Ones. Uh, legends. All the... Abaku Legends. Just finished that yesterday. Uh, so I've done that and I've also done so Spirit Eater's done, Deathbringer's done, Guardians are done and this is the last one, the Fish of Fortune which takes place on this map. So I finished this yesterday and thank you to whoever it was in the comments who said about if you're doing it with all your arachnids and that turned off. Um, because in one of the things that you need to do in that one, you need to create a piece of special bait to catch a golden fish. And the bait is this fruit, the unknown long fruit, uh, a honey and a dead centipede. Now in the other, other spirits of Amazonia... I need to pretty much just go straight, don't I? In the other Spirits of Amazonia um, games, there's say there's been options if you're playing it like that, if you've got predators and that turned off, to complete it. So I was wondering how you were going to get the centipede. And someone very kindly let me know in the comments that if you're doing it with those things turned off, you can use a lava to create it instead of a centipede. And that worked brilliantly. So thank you very much to who mentioned that in the comments. I'm terrible at remembering. I write these things down and then I misplace my pieces of paper. So I will get your name and give you the proper recognition for that because that saved me so much. I kept thinking, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to, how am I going to finish this? There must be a way. And there was. So thank you for that. But what I'm 
what I'm getting at. This is that next area. This, oh, it it's going to be a nightmare because you have to swim a fair bit and you know caimans it's just i'm not looking forward to it i've got to admit um and i know there is a puma i think it's a puma that prowls around here i think because there's a this is where the uh the scientists had their tents last time well of course they're not there this time there is a very very large tribal camp there so i'm gonna try and deal with the tribal and a puma maybe oh. anyway it's gonna be interesting it's a pretty good to make yourself a boat to get around but all right so i think What's the time? We'll just we could if we if I get this a little bit longer I can get back. So I might do that. As long as I don't have any cat trouble. That's what I was looking for. That's what I could have done with before. Uh, yes, it's, it's gonna be a bit tricky, I reckon. Again, I think it all comes down to how many caimans actually patrol the areas. That I'm not sure of. Because it can't be just the one in that large area. <gasps> you see him up on his back legs then looking very aggravated that was cool <gasps> oh. did that trigger him because that's kind of what I was hoping for. Oh, I saw a leaf fall over. Okay. Oh, it's just a cr I thought there was a growl there, but I think it's just a creaking noise. Uh. What's the time? No, I think we'll leave it here. Um, yeah, we'll leave it here. Next episode, we'll go back and we'll uh, finish off Sartno's Sartno's story with the uh, with the elder, and then we'll pack ourselves up because it will be leaving again for a little bit. So coming and doing all this, and then we'll come back because we'll need to see the elder one last time. It's a uh, say. Like, that was one of the things about this one. There was a lot of backwards and forwards going from map maps to back to other maps that you'd already been. Um, I mean, this one here, this part, part three is covering, you know, we started off on the, well, uh, here, actually. And then I went to here. Yeah, because you had to do the one with this tribe. Then you had to come see this tribe. Then you had to come over here. Then onto this map. Then onto this map. And then we had to take the trip back to Anaconda Island. And then we go there, we come back here. And then, as I found out yesterday, after we finish here, because we still get to see the Yabawaka village down here, we will end up back on this map. And then, yeah. I'm not going to spoil everything though because there is a uh, one cool part that I, I had that happened yesterday um when I was exploring on this map which I liked so yeah <sighs> I'm just getting that other map ready so I can start building and um 
yeah, see where's good places to build on this map where there's less of the man-made, less of the man-made uh, buildings to get in the way. So yeah, I don't have any pots to put under these, which is a shame. Oh, I did think I spotted a, doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. A coconut, but it doesn't matter at all. All right then, I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to go. So we will be going back over tomorrow and we'll finish up Sartno Story. Then we'll head off down to the, what was it, the last map before and get all this stuff because we would be doing a lot of traveling on these islands. That's where the lot of the swimming is going to come. So yeah, not so great, but that's how it is. So thank you all for joining me and I'll catch you all again soon. Bye.